The happy one shot aside I'm just a singer Some say a sinner Rolling the dice Not always a winner You say I've been lucky Well, I've made my own Not part of the crowd But not feeling alone Rolling the dice Not always a winner Greedy for the good things As well as the bad Two shots of happy One shot of sad Dennis Levinson and Roy Hahn to see Mr. Breitling and Mr. Poster. Sure, go right on in. Okay, thanks. Thank you. I have a platinum card. Uh, how are you guys doing? Good. Roy Hahn. Hello, Roy. Tim Poster. Nice to meet you. Nice Roy, to meet how you. are you? Tom Breitling. Nice to meet Good to you. meet you guys. Yeah. Oh. So, so you guys, let's start from the beginning. You guys have an entertainment company. We do live events for uh, some of the major casinos in the United States. They're all geared to the player. We have a reputation of having probably the finest model network in the world. So you have models? Oh, yeah. That's, oh, okay. That's that something I didn't know. Yeah, you can have. No one told me that. What do you guys think we would work down here? We were thinking uh, that the bowling would be a perfect venue here. And what's unique about our events, the girls, the models make the players stupid. And uh, <laughs> the play is always longer. They go into two days of sitting at a blackjack table and not moving. So the girls stay with the guys? Uh, they go gamble with While them. they're in the yeah. casino? Yeah. We have a very good list of players that follow these models from event to event. So we get access to your player list? Yeah. How big is that? Probably about 1,000 guys. And these are upper end players too. Mm -hmm. yeah. And and we've taken some of these players to properties that can't can't even handle them. <laughs> you know, they're too big. A good players list is worth its weight in gold. So if these guys come through, this could be a very successful event. So there's a bowling event and then the bikini right. contest. They bowl in really cute little outfits. Then at 7 o'clock is a welcoming party and an awards banquet. At 8 o'clock, the girls get into their bikinis, and they're judged uh, in their bikinis. We tally up the scores, and it's all over. At 9 o'clock, they're out of there on the on the floor gambling. Uh, what's the cost of our book? Usually book out between fifty and 75000 depending upon how many girls and what the logistics are. Really? You know, it's not just a party. Mm -hmm. It's a reason you guys are spending some serious money to bring some players in. I was very hesitant at first f because these costs seem really high. But he was very aggressive with us because he wanted to establish a relationship with the Golden Nuggets. So at the end of the day, they had agreed to pay for the whole bowling event. And all we had to do was pay for the party. So under that arrangement, I had agreed to do it. <laughs> I can see it now. Hold on, where's that? The first annual Tim Poster Bikini Bowling Bonanza. <laughs> You're cold as ice, dark as night. Cold as ice. Thank you very much. You know, on some nights, Tim and Tom will drop by. Most of the time, we're just playing for the wait staff and the bartenders. They've been hinting that if we do really well at Zach's, they're going to put us in the showroom. But honestly, I think it's a little BS. I mean, I think we're going to be stuck in dinner theater hell. Hey, can I grab a glass of water? Sure. 
Uh, no. Great job. That was, like, horrible. That's <laughs> all right. Dude, it's like, we've been working your hard, you know, at the very least, maybe you think we could get upstairs? All right, yeah. you're, you're first in line, how's that? I'm still going up, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, you're, you're in line, okay? I'm in line <laughs> You're in line. Come on, <laughs> don't do this to me. All right. How long's the line? <laughs> it's long, well, you but you're was, first. You said I was first. <laughs> Which one is it? Thanks. <laughs> And I told him today what he has to do is just do an excellent job. He's a natural from a standpoint of his father's been in the business all his life. He's dealt the game, so he understands from the game side of the business. He's a, he's a perfect fit to help round and continue to round the marketing team. He's going to be good. He's young, he's aggressive, he's hungry. It's a good pick. Bosses want to say uh, a few words. How are Mr. you, Buster, buddy? How you doing? Right. Good to see you. All right, him. all right. Uh, Tim's already generously allowed us to give you an offer of, of being an entry-level casino host. What we want you to do, do is you be that guy. Mr. Smith, hi, my name's Tommy Sundstrom. Nice to meet you. Ask them where they're staying, uh, you know, have they had dinner, or it, it, when you walk away, the guy's going to feel like, no, that was nice. Do you want to take the job? <laughs> so where do I sign? Where do I sign? Thank you so much. I think much. sleep is going to be a thing of your past. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Thank you so much. I do. Thank I you so you. much. Thank you. I need mean, you. Uh, all right. Thanks, Thank you. Right. Thank, you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Great it's your last you. night dealing? It is, Zach. It she is. Friday I start in, in uh, marketing, so I'm excited. Whole new world, huh? Whole new world. Right, well, good luck to you. Hopefully Thank you. you do a lot of business now, right? I, I appreciate it, Zach. I'll see you around. You Have a good day, Zach. Thank you. He's a nice kid. I think he's going to do a good job. We'll see. We'll huh? find out. <laughs> <laughs> in school? Yeah. How long have you been to school? This is my fifth year. Yeah, fifth year. But it doesn't really count, because I went to a I got thrown out of a junior college. My, the first year I went to, well, I didn't get, well. You got thrown out of well, it? it was in Utah, it was in Utah. That's <laughs> well, enough. what's your point? It was Utah, that's why I was thrown out. Just partying like a regular college student, and because it was in Utah, I was just curious. Yeah. I'm just curious because I, you know, I, I was thinking that maybe you had were in school for uh, marketing. You know, having getting a degree in marketing. No, I have or... no no previous experience in marketing. I guess you can't consider valet marketing, but okay. Just curious. Yes. See you later. Won't well, accept this in shady I guarantee. No, I was just asking about his uh, education. What do you go to school for, dentistry? Because <laughs> <laughs> I know that they, they give a lot of opportunity for those who... <laughs> what? What are you trying to say? You know when you know somebody's talking about you? It was one of those deals. I just... I didn't want to deal with it. You're a great host. Thank you. What's up? Nothing. Um, I'm just walking out. Hey, that was... Dude, I'm going to lose that money. She's not going to talk What do you mean? Oh, she's not going to talk What makes you qualify for this? Job, uh, he's having a little problem with money. He does. Yeah. That's not Dude, you got one more day. What do you care? Hey, yeah. Wait till they know you're a host and you're walking. How many guys do you think you're going to be pissed off? <laughs> I'm going to hate you. You're going you're yeah. to learn to deal with this. That's all right. All right. See? All right. Later. All right. Back to me. <laughs> well, Tommy's a spoiled little boy. Yeah. He's getting everything handed to him. I wish I was 23 years old with a drop like that. They brought the cake out, and I was feeling the love. I don't want it. 
Of course Monique didn't participate. No. No, please, have it. Good, you cut it and I'll leave. Okay. okay. It's mine. Okay. See you later, Monique. Bye, Tommy. Take it easy, deal. Good luck. This chapter of my life is over as far as dealing, and I really look forward to the next. I just hope I don't screw it up. This is on $500,000 bills. You guys ever seen a $500 or $1,000 bill? Check this out. Is it real? Yeah, yeah, this is cage. real cheese, baby. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Slick. Tim, remember in the movie Midnight Run when he goes, do you have change for a 1000 So after I found out that Tim and Tom weren't exactly sure if they wanted me in the showroom, you know, I had to come up with a different strategy. I thought the best way to do it is if I become a part of Tim and Tom's inner circle. A big group of us are going to the Nevera concert. You want to go? Like who? Is Tom going? Because if Tom's going, I don't want He kicked me out of the show <coughs> of my room tonight. <laughs> We won't me and, sit me like, and Tom are on speaking terms. You, 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 we won't have to sit with Tom. Why? Are you, Listen, are you I know exactly what Matt's trying to do. He's trying to get all buddy-buddy with Tim and I and Maurice and everybody on the 18th floor. Matt's just going to have to be patient. He, he's got to pay his dues, that's all. Where's the Matt dust button? Here it is, right here. Boom. Now it means you start singing. Just automatically? Yeah, ready? And then I'll do that. OK, perfect. Remember when Moses stopped to part the sea? Walking on water down in Galilee. Yeah. Changing the water in the... <laughs> I yep. love it. Come in. Uh, that's why you called, too. Yeah, I'm working 10 to 6, so just call me in the morning and let me know. All right? OK, see you later. Bye. Here, heads up. Okay, now just what are you doing? keep that stuff back. This is my office now, also. So. That's funny. John. Would it did tell you to come in and say that? <laughs> no, I didn't tell him. It's actually going to be true because he doesn't have a workstation. Get out of here. I'm really proud of Tommy for, for getting this job, but, uh, you know, this other stuff, uh, this might be a little more than I actually signed up for. Dad, I'm going to lay the golf club down. This is my side right here. You can have your side, so. That part that part will work. You can have everything from here <laughs> over. That'll work. <laughs> Junior host. Yeah, I look forward to sharing this office space right, with that's you. That's great. So. That's great, son. Thanks, Pops. I I'm appreciate it. I'm pretty excited it. about it myself. Zach, come here. Hey, I need you to, um, to get Roy Hahn from Bikini Bowling. I need to get the list. Uh, I haven't seen a list of players or girls or anything. Or anything? Okay. All right, I got it. Done. All right. All right, thanks, buddy. Tim wasn't sure that the bikini bowling event was worth the money. I was pretty confident that it would bring in the high rollers. Uh, we have to think a little bit differently, and so I stuck my neck out. Do you have, hey, how you doing? Good. Do you have a list of players from Bikini Bowling? Uh, on yesterday, you? our uh, player rep gave it all to D. So, D, he should, so D should have it? Right, yeah. Okay. I think we got like about 400,000 in play. Want to go take a trip down to D's office? Okay, yeah, let's go. Perfect. Tom asked me to go get the list from Roy, but when I talked to him, it kind of felt like he was putting me on. Okay, great. So I'm thinking, well, if this guy can't come up with a list, how's he going to come up with the players? Somebody's a little nervous. I mean, you got any luck? Any players? Or yeah, we've got we've got about I think six to eight. We have one guy um, that I'm not at liberty to discuss, uh, but uh, he still is kicking around. He's a big, big player. And he's got your telephone number, and I'm hoping that he calls. Yeah. You know, so so. He's got my telephone yes. number. So I'm down in D's office listening to Roy. You know, this guy is gonna come, and oh well, this guy he's got your phone number. <laughs> I don't know what Tim and Tom are going to think when uh, Roy shows up with a room full of phone numbers. All right, here's the list. Okay. It's got, uh, you want to look at it? Yeah. You know, so, I mean, yeah, there could be and four. This, and the question is if, if they, you know, step up and play to it. Don't worry, they will. Yeah. They will. Nugget. 
Yeah, here for a oh, bikini here. ball. Bikini ball. Hello, Ryan. My name is Tommy yeah. Simpson. Pleasure yeah. to meet you. How you doing? Yeah, yeah. All right. Is he a host? He's a host. Junior right. host. First day. day. First day. All right. Yeah. Yeah. You want to meet some of the girls? Hi, right. pleasure to meet you. Are you going to go bowling? Hi, right. how you doing? My name is Tommy. Yeah, I'm going bowling with you guys. Tommy Simpson. What are you going to do to yourself today? This is, like, unbelievable. Thank you for giving me this as my first job. <laughs> Holy smokes. I had to, like, pinch myself. I'm like, is this really happening? <laughs> you be on your toes, you hear me? Hopefully I'll be on my back, but no, I'll be on my toes. <laughs> The bikini bowling babies are going to a bowling alley where they can meet the high rollers. And then later tonight, there's a bikini contest where the high rollers can actually judge the bikini bowling babes. I hit the jackpot. This is a great first. How's it going, sir? My name is Tommy Sunstrom. I'm a new host at the Golden Nugget. Yeah, yes. I want to come introduce myself. Well, just let me just cut to the chase. Are you willing to have sex with your players to get people to come in? Dude, I'll bend you over right here. No, 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 no. Oh, you mean women? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Here I am, my first day as a host, and I'm in a bowling alley with 24 beautiful women. Oh, damn. Yeah, she's a hottie. Is she wearing underwear? And they seem to be getting close to the high rollers, but there's not that many high rollers. So I could get lucky. to meet some high rollers uh, today at the bowling alley. We had a team with a few high rollers, and we bowl together, and we get to know each other. And so in the evening, we'll be in the swimsuit competition, and after that, we'll go in the casino and gambling. I'll give you three to one for 50 grand. I'll take four to one on 50 grand. And we'll throw in Veronica. Four to one. You. I've only bowled two strikes all day. Four to one. Four to one on 50 grand. You lose 200 grand. Yeah, I'll, if, I want it by I mean, Monday. I win 50 grand. And you win 50 grand. Wait, wait, wait. You don't have it by Monday. It's good luck. I'll have it by tonight. Hey, Denny, hold on. Before you bowl that, you need one of these. Uh, Denny, come on. Here's to uh, us. No, the Russian bowl team. Okay. I'm so sorry, Mama. <laughs> How's that uh, bikini list coming? Well, not too good so far. What does not too good mean? Well, I guess there's only like four or five guys at the bowling alley. Four or five? No, come on. Yeah, but these guys. You're kidding. Tim is the casino guy, and now he's asking me about the players. Well, I brought in the event, and now it's up to Roy to deliver the players. This is a nighttime event. These guys, they sleep during the day. They just relax during the day. It was an event that they had, and so they, they tell me these guys will start firing away tonight. So. All right, man. You better be. All right, they'll show up. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you again. Remember last time we were trying to talk? I was, come yeah, over here. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to figure out what, how you put this all together and stuff. I saw the bikini bowling thing and hooked up with Roy. I think I conveyed to him that I am some sort of a talent scout. 
but never told them what I did. So this is like an opportunity for them, because the ghouls also get to network with the richest men in the world. The, you the invited judges. to this thing? Yeah. They're the judges. Oh. The top players from the casino. OK. We hook them up. They judge the contest, have the contest over. They all go down and play. Hello. Hello, how you doing? Hi, good to see you. How How's everything? You? Hello. How you doing? Good. All right. How's everything going? Good. You know what I do? What's that? You don't know what I do. No, tell me. I'm a talent scout of sort. Really? I own the Cottontail Ranch, Rob. Prostitution is illegal in some counties in Nevada, but uh, it's illegal in Vegas. I have to do all my work inside the brothel. That's where my license is. That's where I work. I can't bring them here and do all that kind of stuff. And how long have you known Roy? How long have I known Roy? Yeah. I've, I just met him when he can't. When he... Okay. Yeah. What do you think of Roy? He's cool. Yeah. Well, I'll see you in a little bit, my man. Okay, thanks. I didn't understand why Roy had brought this Mo guy down here. I mean, the guy owns a freaking brothel. He doesn't gamble at all. He's not a high roller. But I don't want to get in trouble with this guy. So tell me how you do this. How is it? Who do you help? You help Roy put this together? Yes, yes. You've done a great job in putting together talent. I mean, it's really amazing. I'm sort of a talent scout. You know what I do? What's that? I own the Cottontail Ranch. You know what that is? The Cottontail Ranch? Yeah. It sounds like a some kind of house of real repute. Yes. Do you know what a brothel is? A brothel? I own a brothel. A house of dirty okay. girls. So I actually feel bad for the girls, because they're probably... You shouldn't feel bad. They, very, they do very well. Don't tell me that they don't feel bad about themselves. They don't feel bad about themselves. I, I not when they, that, that, when they, not when they get their... I disagree. I disagree. When, they get their no, no, when they get their paychecks at the end of the week, they feel... No straight would do that. When they get their paychecks at the end of the week... It's a sin. It's a sin? It's the oldest business there is, isn't it? No, I'm a nice Catholic girl. I was raised a Catholic too, but that doesn't mean you're nice. It's because you're Catholic. So who is Brittany is a prostitute. Right in front of us here. Brittany is a, a, a legal prostitute. That's funny because I said she looked kind of tore up. Who? Who? Brittany. I'll bring her over here. Brittany! How do you get your name? I'm Tyron. Nice to meet you, Tyron. I'm Bonnie. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hello. He's explaining the whole brothel thing, and we're bad folks. How many days a week do you work? I did two weeks on and three weeks off. So, so in the how much money do you make last year? How much money did I make last year? Um, I'm but you know, I, I'm separated right now. What did your husband think? I'm just really, he's supportive of it. Did you meet him there? No, 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 no. <laughs> totally somewhere different. Oh, I met that would be so weird for different. your husband, probably. He didn't care, didn't care that you went? No, no, because he takes a very strong line to be in this business. Yeah. You know, I know girls that go out there and sleep with different men every day and do it for free. I what do you tell your kids? So what are you going to tell them when yeah. they get older? By then, I'll be graduating from college. I'm in my second year in college Good. right now. What are you majoring in? Pharmacology? So you'll be a pharmacist. They wear bikinis, and whether they're showing their nudity or not, they're still selling sex. I don't know if it's a scam, but I, I, I think it's a great hustle. I want to jump onto this hustle. Keep the dirty floors over there. Yeah, and, and the nice is. girls over here. Exactly. Good first day. Uh, uh, my fight. It is. This is a great. Uh, You're doing a great. I got lucky. Thank you. I appreciate it. Are you working on the floor tonight? Yes, tonight's my first night. I'll be there. You're looking good, Tom. Thank you. Wow, you clean up good, oh, son. Thank you, thank wow. you. You look good. Thank you. So work this party tonight, but don't spend all your time that much on that floor, OK? OK, cool. 
All right. So tonight's um, agenda is just... Tonight's agenda is go up there and work that room a little bit, you know, and this thing with these floor supervisors, you know, I want you to stand firm and just say, hey, I've been presented a wonderful opportunity to either accept it or talk to Dee. Okay. Absolutely. I was I was excited but a little nervous when I had to take care of the bikini bowling party and the casino floor. That's a lot to handle. Don't get caught up partying right now. No, I won't. Right, let's wait a while. Okay. Sounds okay, good. Very nice. Thank kiddo. you, Dee. I appreciate it. Oh, that's good. We need, uh, we, hit, we have all the girls here, mm -hmm. okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to pair them up with the bowler. The most important player would get to select the girl. Right. And then you'd write the name down by the girl that he selects. And okay. So I'm going to entrust this with you? Cool. Okay. You have a pen? Yeah. I got a Okay. Right. Oh, he's... Uh -huh. He's prepared to he's, he's a jewel. Where'd you <laughs> find him? <laughs> I'll take care of this for you then. Okay. All right. Why don't we just set this on a table and they could come by and put their names on it? Because that's what you're here to do. You're the host of the room. That's my, I'm the host of the room? Really? Yes, you're in charge, baby. You're the host of the room. You're supposed to be walking around hosting the party, meeting the girls, mingling with the guests. This is your job to come out. Is it really? Oh. Well, come on. All right. Now that you put it that way, I'll be back. Hey, it's not its not such a bad gig, huh? No. I realized that I had a lot to learn. Uh, I was responsible for our customers, and being a host is, is more than just walking around and shaking hands. I, I have to get serious. You're Kate? My name's Tommy. Yes. It's going well. It's going perfect. Good to see you. Would you slide over next to him so I can sit next to you and so can you? <laughs> He is a judge. You know he's judging, right? I'm judging. Oh, make sure she's And I'm picking her first, and you won A. I ain't picking you first. I don't want to hear your acceptance speech. Hey, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. Excuse me. Don't talk like that. You know the Russian mark is waiting for you outside. You I know what I'm feeling here. here. I'm a judge. You're you trying understand? to blackmail me? You're talking to a You're judge. You're talking to me? Excuse me. Excuse me for a second. Are you talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> Tom. Anyway, it's Come here. really, uh, it's going to be fun. Jody is producing it. My name is Tommy Sensor. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Jody is also a producer for Play. Here I am on a date with my girlfriend, and there's these 20 beautiful bras running around. So I was kind of in a pickle that night. But, you know, at the end of the day, you, you got to realize that, that these girls, most of them anyway, are here to be on some kind of hustle. They weren't here just for that $1,500 prize. I just got hired two days ago as a host. Really? Yeah. Kind of like but he's been shows. here for a while. He yeah, was I've been a dealer. Here for a while. Yeah. Okay. Now he's our cash yes. house. Excuse me, Jessica. Yes. Wait, wait. Ah, the Russians. Hi, guys. Hello. I'm Olga. From Olga. Hi. Hi. Uh, I'm Very Tim. Nice. Darina, my friend. How, how do you say your name? Darina. Darina. Okay, Darina. This, where do you live now? I'm in the States, in Vegas. Oh, She's lying. Vegas. She's lying. Yeah. She's from China. China. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Tommy Sundstrom. Um, I think I got a page. I'm in the Bel Air room right now. I'm going to run down there really quick. Uh, be right down. When the pit bosses have a player in the section that needs something, they page me, and I go down and take care of it. You guys doing all right, though? Yeah, doing good. All right. You guys need anything at all? You, you, would you guys like, do you guys want breakfast in the morning, and then from there on? Yeah, that would help me. Yeah. All right. Break that ticket up, buddy, you know? <laughs> Here. What's your first name again? These Chris two gentlemen Tom. right here. Um, Great. Good to meet you. These two gentlemen right What's going here. going on over here? I would like a con to Carson Street. Do you think you could take care of that? Oh, you can. For breakfast? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't. I answered her number. She, you can't write it up? No, I can't. I don't know how to do that yet. They haven't taught me how to do that. You don't know how to write up a comp? No, I have no clue. They let, haven't. Let me show you. Okay. Okay. Take one of these here. Yeah. Tear it off. Yeah. Time stamp both of the bags. Fill it up for which restaurant? The rest is self-explanatory. Cool. I was totally professional with her. I said thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. You guys gonna be down there tonight? Down where? In the casino. Well, we don't have any other options. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you down there, all right?
Look here, fellas. I know you're having a hard time with this decision, so I'm going to bring all the ladies out. The Parade of Beauty. This is nothing but beauty right here. Have you ever seen so many lovely ladies in one place at one time? I'm so glad I don't have to judge. I still can't get a straight answer what we paid them. But the thing was is that they were bringing a lot of players and do this thing, OK? Well, they didn't get anywhere near as many as they thought. It was a big party, and everybody was really having a good time with the girls and everything like that. And that's great, but that wasn't the point. The point was this event was supposed to bring in players. Yesterday, I don't think we got 10 cents drop. From directly, from indirectly from this. I know. Right. Imagine if we paid 75000 I know. I have the winners in my hand and the money in my pocket. We got $1,500 in this envelope for number one. Jamie! Are you paying attention to the players or the girls? What's happening? Yeah, you caught me. All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> get your, get, your, get down right. there and take care of the players. The girls will wait. I tried to be in two places at once, up at the party and down on the floor, and I was getting frazzled. I know what a host does. I, I don't know necessarily know the details. people that Roy brought in were were very low rollers. All right, but there was one guy that was a part of the event that was that was shooting some pretty good dice. Well, he was a local guy though. You know, he probably would have come in anyway sooner or later. We didn't need this event to bring him in. So how much show total? 70,000. You want to pay those for the tips? Or do you want me to print a marker. Marker. Okay. Marker. Up. He was losing like $70,000, all right, right out of the gate. And uh, so I was thinking, OK, maybe this event will actually shape up and, and pay for itself. This is it, Danny. Can't even hold it together anymore. I need you to blow on these, baby. All right. Is it, is it, is it a time for you to get a happy No, he's got to win first. He won! There we go. I knew you would do it, baby. <laughs> Most guys quit after they get stuck a big number, but not this guy. He actually stepped it up and was even betting more. It was amazing how this guy's luck just changed. Do y'all really not owe any money? Don't you owe me a little bit? 
This is all our money? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and he beat us for like 150000 that night at, in the end. And it was just like, you know, this whole thing was a disaster. And I knew this was a bad idea. Where is the Russian mafia? Russian mafia needs some. You just handle the cash. Give it to the Russian mafia. Give it to the Russian mafia. To the you Russian mafia. Will you just please put my money back and let me decide what I want to do with it? Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> How much are we giving these girls a piece for their lot? You lost my bowling game today. You know that. And you're supposed to make it back to us. You know that. Give, us All right. All right. Give, give each of the Russians a thousand a piece. What are you talking about? Not, not, not. You have to. They were yeah. good luck. Ready? You guys, please. Some all the money that I'm making in casinos to help my family, my parents. And so this money will go to, to make a difference in their life. Make a difference in, in, in our families, you know? You no, know, that's very nice. Thank you, Danny. <laughs> to cash, some chips to cash. Oh, it's so exciting. Thank you. I'm so happy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sometimes casinos can be lucky, you know? This event felt like a hustle. We shouldn't have done it. It was it was a bad idea, and, and I was just frustrated completely, and that's when I decided to have a meeting, because to me now, it's time to get back to the basics. All right, guys. I am uh, not happy. I I'm just I'm very unhappy. I don't want this joint to turn into, like, an anything-goes, classless, tawdry joint. I want it to have class and elegance. I mean, some that I hear about, swingers and hookers all the time. Really, this was driving me nuts. I mean, it's like, why every time I turn around, I mean, it's trashy lingerie, bikini bowling. I mean, what the hell is this? Bikini bowling, that was a casino event. Why would you have a bikini bowling event? I didn't know that's what it was. Oh, really? No, I really? had no clue. So you weren't clue. sitting there in the he casino event. going to be running all over the hotel like a bunch of idiots. These guys aren't spending any money here, and now I got to go. Well, up and when you were sitting in that us. casino marketing event, when they came in and said, "This is geared towards bringing high rollers no. in," you weren't yeah. sitting in that event. Yeah. We all hear each other. We all hear each other. I'm, I'm telling you, I think it's the end of the end of the process as it relates to where we're at with that old program. What are we? What are we creating down here? I mean, this is absolutely 180 degrees different than what. You and I talked about creating. No question about it. Well, then what are we doing? I mean, it's, it's, it's embarrassing. I'm really, I'm embarrassed. There's no doubt that the direction with respect to some of the entertainment choices that were made in the last several weeks were not what we should have made. However, it's, it's going to get fixed. And it's still going to be fun and sexy, and people are going to want to be here. So the entertainment strategy is bring back headliners, make it loungy, not nightclub-y. And uh, we're working on just everything from classic Tony Bennett to Jewel. We've been talking about up close and personal with bare naked ladies. You guys care, and I think we're just trying to come to the same conclusion. Let's move forward. Let's take the high road. You all set? We're going to get back on track. Because it's my first day as a host. Really, I have to consider myself one of the luckiest guys in this town. I just have to pinch myself. There's going to be some jealousy, but let them talk. Let them talk all they want. I get the last laugh, so who cares? Next week on the casino. Everyone is looking to take advantage of the new owners when a team of infamous card counters infiltrate the Golden Nugget. Have you guys found Andrew Block yet? Nope, nothing yet. And a high roller skips town owing the casino a million dollars. Do I really have to pay this? Forcing Tim to take matters into his own hands. Frank, you owe me a million. I'm coming down there myself. And young host Tommy Sundstrom gambles with his new career when he spends his day off visiting the Cottontail Ranch.